Lake it, lake it. Hello, novice reef keepers. How are you today? Today, I'm going to show you how to go freshwater to marine, and as easy as under a thousand dollars, less than ten dollars a week, and less than one hour of maintenance. So right here you can see our nano display here, um, it, it's looking great and, and it's flourishing. So I'll run you down a little bit on what we do this tank weekly. So first of all we clean the glass as I'll show you just now with the magnet. You can see as we just clean and then scrub it, that takes about 10 or 20 minutes, it's really not that hard at all. Another thing that we may do is we may empty the skimmer. This might not be a weekly thing but maybe 5-10 seconds every, every couple of days. You just literally pull this off, you take it away, you wash it, you clean it, and you put it back. Once it's tuned in, you don't have to do much more about that. That is just the filter in the tank. So what that does is it mixes air and water together and creates a foam. So this will mimic what happens in the wild when the, the waves crash in the water and it creates that foam. And you might notice sometimes on a, on a stormy day that that foam can be a little bit smelly. And what that is, protein, fish waste, um, and other organics that are binded up and brought out. And it collects in this cup. So we've got to empty that and clean that. But that doesn't take no more than a minute a week or 20 seconds every couple of days. Um, another thing that we, may, we do in this tank is 20% water change. So this tank is 45 by 45. And it, we do about 20% water change, which is roughly about 20 litres a week. And that's where the cost comes into it. That's pretty much, apart from electricity, the only cost on this aquarium here is the water. So salt water, you can't be using tap water, you've got to be using RODI filtered water and we mix artificial reef salt or you can use natural sea salt. We sell that here, you can bring your drum in and fill it up and we sell that for about 35 cents a litre so it's about five to seven dollars to do a water change on this per week. Um, so that's the main cost in this and then the rest is electricity, it's no more than a dollar or three dollars um, per week to run an aquarium at this size. As well as that, we've got a light here. This one is a Radeon, so it is a bit more expensive, but you can use the max spec or a cheaper light for about $100 or $200. It doesn't have to be that expensive. This whole setup you see here, but without the fish and without the corals, is roughly uh, $800, $900, so it is under $1,000. And then you add the, um, the water and a few critters, and then it's under $1,000. Um, in the back, we've got media. A lot of you guys coming from freshwater would know about media. Those little ceramic bowls grow bacteria on it and in return turn ammonia into nitrate, um, from nitrite, sorry, nitrite into nitrate and also phosphate. Um, so what that does is it can get to a toxic level and that's when you need to do your water changes to bring it below those toxic levels and that's why you're doing the 20% per week. Apart from that in this tank, there is not much else you've got to do but feed the fish and enjoy it. It is a very, very easy tank. You don't need to t test all the funny things like calcium and magnesium that might make your head spin from going from fresh water to salt water. All you got to do is the water changes and what that does is replenish all your calcium, your magnesium, your alkalinity and keeps that phosphate and nitrate really low, making a smaller tank like this much, much easier on the maintenance. Um, another reason why you don't have to test is because we're using soft corals in here and all these here do not require, they do require calcium and magnesium and alkalinity but not at the levels that let's say our LPS would or even our SBS tank. So over here is what we call our stony corals. All these require lots of calcium and magnesium and alkalinity and that's why these are much more harder than the nano tank because what happens is water changes will not be enough to upkeep this tank you then got to dose things like alkalinity and calcium and magnesium and we use doses for that so we put it we mix them up and we put them a doser and they test so that's when it gets a little bit more difficult and that's what makes this tank great so it's very very easy so you can get into the hobby and get into the marine industry 
and try yourself out in something that's not much harder than fresh water. Like in your fresh water, you're doing your water changes, you're cleaning your skimmer, that's easier than the, sorry, you're cleaning your canister filter, that is much easier than the canister filter, you don't have to pull it apart. Um, and you clean the glass just like your fresh water, you're doing your water change, you're literally measuring it out, measuring the salt water in so you don't have to worry about salinity. Later on when you know a little bit more about the hobby and you want to get a little more advanced, you can mix your own salt, tweak the chemicals and that will save you a little bit of money again. Um, and you're feeding the fish just like your fresh water, so it's not that much harder. A lot of people think gold marine is super, super hard, it has to be hard, but it really doesn't. So I hope that brings a little bit of light on how easy this is. And until next time,